All right, I thought uh, I'd go ahead and put the roll bar in today. And before I decided to put it in, I went ahead and rewired it. Those are the new primary leads, one for each light. I like to overkill a lot of times and put too much wire in. But the existing wiring came down this pipe. And instead of taking it all apart, uh, I taped the old wires to the new wires and pulled them through the holes took a little bit of patience but as you can see the green wire there is the one that I taped to the white wires in there too so uh, it'll have a fresh wiring job I got a garden hose and a little broom I'm going to try to clean a lot of the dirt out of this bed before I get started alright I got the bed uh, hosed out a lot of stuff came out of there. The back window has paint on it because the previous owner didn't tape it off when he painted the truck. So in order to get a good job back there, I already did the in, inside of the window with some window cleaner. It was pretty dirty. So next I'm going to take this razor blade here and try to clean uh, most of the old paint off of this window. I did some more cleaning. And I got my sandpaper out and roughed up this paint and uh, basically wet sanded it just to rough it up enough to for some paint to stick. The back window is a lot clearer now. You actually see a reflection. You see through it for the first time, well, since I owned it. So, uh, next is to tape off the weather stripping here and go ahead and get some primer around the rear of the cab while I got the roll bar off. And I just got some regular old flat black primer. Got the drill out, waiting for this bed to dry out so I can go get a marker, lay the roll bar in place, measure it, and then mark the holes out so they can be uh, drilled. So. I got the window taped off. It's not perfect, I know. I don't really care though. It's not going to be a very perfect truck. Uh, that's good enough tape because I can just hold this cardboard up and uh, that will cover the window for me and I can work myself all the way around the window and we'll just get this back part of the cab primer real quick. It will save a lot of time later. Well I got the holes uh, measured out and drilled and uh, hopefully everything will line up. There's an extra hole there in the middle for the wires that come out of that one leg. Holes over there done. I'm going to wait for a little bit of moisture to dry up and uh, hit it with some primer. That should slow down any rust on this bare metal. And I went to the hardware store. Got a bunch of nuts and bolts. Pretty cheap actually. So, well, I ran out of time yesterday. Ran out of daylight. So today I came out and I got all these bolts tightened down. Except that hole didn't match up, so I'll have to re drill it finish it up since I'm working on this by myself I got vice grips up on top I got two vice grips so I can do two bolts at a time get underneath the truck put the nuts on and tighten it up and it's actually quite difficult to reach being right on top of this gas tank but uh, there's the wires that come down for the roll bar lights and you see the bolts up there so I got one side done, time to take a break, and then uh, I'll get started on the, on the 12 bolts on that side. Well, finally got all the bolts on there. It was quite a job actually trying to get above that gas tank. If you're going to put your own roll bar on, I would suggest either removing both tanks or uh, lifting the bed up a few inches. Just a little bit would give you plenty of room. but. Uh, it was quite a job to get up to the uh, the inside bolts. The outside bolts were easy. So it's in there now, nice and solid. Moves the whole truck. I tape the uh, wire up to that brace that way I don't run it over or anything. I think it looks 
pretty good. I haven't started it since yesterday, so. back it out of this place and put it back over there where it belongs. 